Today we're making brisket bites from brisket trim. The only reason I trimmed some of the flat off of this brisket is to fit it on my 18 inch Smoky Mountain. I just got the first prototype of this great I designed for the Smoky Mountain, so I had to make the brisket fit to try it out. Crowdcow.com sent me this very nice Creekstone Farms brisket, so I couldn't just grind the trimmings up into burgers. Instead of that, I trimmed the biggest chunks possible and then seasoned and smoked them along with the rest of the brisket. I flipped them after a couple of hours and then pulled them when they were completely covered in a wicked dark back. I cut them into bite-sized chunks and put them in a pan with some tallow. Covered them with foil and then back on the smoker for a few hours at 250 until they were pulled apart tender. My neighbor was out working on his bike so I shared a few of them. He ate all the brisket bites in a minute and said that he liked how it was just salt, pepper, and a little garlic, and no sauce. I couldn't agree more. The burn ends you see out there are just way too sweet and saucy for me. These brisket bites were so good that I might do an entire brisket this way soon. They make the perfect pit snack that you can munch on and share with your neighbors while your main brisket finishes cooking.